And you know, like CJ, this makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Where do I start, man? Like I'm looking, I, you know, I get it. Like conceptually, it makes a lot of sense, but it's just a, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running the business. I'm trying to get throughput. I'm focused on the bottom line. You know, I'm dealing with COVID. I'm trying to deal with, you know, all the challenges of the business. I, I don't even know where to start. Start small. It doesn't have to be a full assembly line. Start with, uh, you know, we can get, you can get you into a gauging system where you can still hand mic stuff. And when you hit the button to measure it, we have a computer that'll talk to your CNC machine. It, it knows what you just measured with that caliper and it's going to put the offset in for you. You could start there. That's a $10,000 $10, is expensive is on the high end of that. And that's a couple mics. That's a small investment to, to make there. You want to talk about just loading and unloading machine. You can do that very cheap. You can do that for, you know, maybe a hundred thousand dollars, which it sounds scary. Don't get me wrong, but look at it as a five-year investment. You just put twenty thousand dollars in a year. You're not going to find labor for twenty thousand dollars a year to do that, not with overhead and everything else. And not that again, the knots is all about labor. But you can take your current workforce, and I guarantee you, they have a talent you didn't know they had. <laughs> I guarantee you, they have talent you didn't know they had. You can take that guy who you thought could just put a part in and take it out. And you might, he might have some talent where he can go inspect parts for you, or he might be way better at, you know, IT. Maybe you needed a new, he has some way to make your computer system run so much better than it is. 